Not really. Hello. Kind of does. I'm making a mess. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see who pops on besides myself. I'm dyeing these balls. Um, with my leftover bumblebee paste that I reconstituted. <laughs> We're going to see what it does. And then... We're gonna put a transfer. To, uh, we're gonna make it a, a tra We're gonna make a sign. I think this needs a little water. Because some of that is gonna suck up into the wood. I knew that. We'll need to turn these. In a little bit. We're just gonna have to sit in there. Don't let me forget, those are in there. That's your job, don't let me forget. Man, I haven't even done anything already messy. So if you're joining, my name is Vicki. I'm an independent desi designer with Chalk Couture. And we are, let me put these away. I had other little balls I was going to use today, but we're not doing those yet. We're going to do the other ones first. Um, I don't need those floating around on my desk. We are going to... Do one of our gnomes today. I think we're doing the girl, but I'm not sure. Or the hippie boy, whichever. I mean, it's got braids. It could be either one. Pretty sure that's the one we're doing today. So let me get that off of there. Let me find myself. <laughs> Still have a nagging cough. And oh look, Facebook's working correctly. Yay. That means I can actually send to other groups. Rid of that. Hey, hey, Miss Tori. Hello, Kelly. <coughs> Still have the cough. All right. Send this out a little bit. Come on, Facebook. If you are not a chalk couture designer, please feel free to help me out and send this out into Facebook land for me. That would be great. Um, because I am looking for more people to join my team or join as a club member 
and get our monthly subscription. If you have questions about those, you can type join or type club and my chat bot should say something to you in Messenger. I don't guarantee she will. She's a booty sometimes, but hopefully she actually works. Hello, Miss Samantha. In fact, let's make sure she's actually logged on. It's supposed to just randomly stay on, but I don't know if it actually does. Well, it says it's loading. Okay, supposedly. They changed up that, that website. Yeah, but Kelly, you've already responded to her before. So I don't think, like you've already had a conversation with her. So I don't think she's going to reply back to you. Although it says you're re reachable. I don't know why it's got a gray circle on your face though. That's weird. Wow, there's a lot of gray faces. I don't know what that means. <laughs> not, for, not for this. Uh, but they changed. They re they changed it. So I gotta figure out. Ooh, you can use her on Instagram too. Yeah, club should work. So should join or hashtag join, hashtag club. I don't know what it's doing. I am doing okay, Miss Tori. How are you? We have another lovely ice storm that's supposed to come in tonight. Not, not excited about that. Today we got to stay home because part of it happened overnight. And we got a big one coming, well, we have a ton coming tonight. Not excited at all about that because I absolutely hate the ice and I don't like cold and I don't like worrying and stressing about it. Let me just send this here. And then I'll get back where I can see. Oh, I can see the chat over here. Wow. Okay. Why does she have community standards up? I don't know what she's doing. All right. That's working. All right. So I put some balls, some of those little wooden balls in my almost dead bumblebee and they're soaking up yellow. So we'll see how they do. I'm going to leave them in there for a while. I, I need to rotate them, but I'll rotate them in a bit. All right, so we're going to do one of the gnomes. These are our two gnomes. We have three other ones, but they're on a different one. Um, so I think we're doing the girl for the hippie boy. The one with the braids. And we're going to put it on the Simple Shapes Rectangle, which is smaller than the actual size of the transfer. I'm not going to use the whole transfer. These are our spring gnomes. Actually, and let me cut these apart because I have not done that yet. They just came out of the package. I don't need this piece of paper here. As Kelly knows, I did chalk maintenance the other day, and 
I went in and stirred all my open paste and added water, brought some of them back to life. I've been needing to do that for a while, and yay, finally caught up and did that. So let's just cut these apart. I'm not sure I applied enough pressure. Well, I guess I did. So right there. All right, so that one's cut apart. We're gonna use another transfer. What? You tried to get her to go live and show us how to, oh, the pace maintenance. Yeah, well, I watched two, I had two movies playing while I was doing most of it. And then another episode and a half of like Frasier. So yeah, it took a while. I mean, there's uh, one, two, three, no, uh, that's the wrong stack. These are different sizes. There's like 30 plus paste over there. Probably more than that. I'm, I'm being lazy. I'm not going to count it. All right. So we're taking the girl off of here. Or the braided hair one. Could be a boy. And we are going to fuzz that transfer. I kind of feel like this needs to be more hippie colors. I don't know why. I just probably not going to end up being that. I want to use one of my bright pinks, probably a green, like one of the spring green colors. And I'm not sure. Blue maybe? All right. Now I am going to Reach over and grab that if I can. Yes. I'm putting this sticky side up because my bait, my rectangle simple shape is not as big as the transfer. See that? Well, I see a hair I want to get, get off. Yay for having dogs. So we're going to want, oh, there's another hair. That's from the fuzzy dog. That one right there. That's yours. Hi, Christina. So I'm just going to figure out where I want that. I think I can get most of that flower and the gnome in there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and flip it around. I don't like that side. I like that side. Ah. I kind of feel like I need my light pad. I'm going to flip that and see if it's kind of even. Nope. Little crooked. Would probably been easier to do it with the light pad. Alright, looks pretty close. 
You're dying again? Why, why are you dying again? Are you in the hospital again? Christina's had some health issues. All right, we're just gonna press that on there, get the bubbles out. And I'm gonna take this and put it at the top so this extra piece does not keep sticking to everything, like my desk. Yeah, let's see, it's easier to move around. Not yet. Oh, Christina, this is not good. You do not need to be sick. All right, now to pick out colors and worry about Christina. Well, all right, I don't need that. That's in the way. So I want, I don't need ink. I don't need browns. We'll use raspberry sorbet because it's such a fantastic color and I want a bright pink. So raspberry sorbet. I did manage to bring my grape soda back from the dead one more time. So we may use some grape soda. Love. Such a retired color but I absolutely love it. I'm thinking meadow is going to be our choice for green. So there's, wow, okay, that's like very bright colors. I need a blue. And, how did, oh, that's the chocolate. grief. You poor thing. Alright, obviously the flower stem is going to be green. Kind of have to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, everything that you're seeing white, everything that you see is white is where the color is going to go through the silk screen to go onto our board. Everything else will be white. So that will be green. dying. I don't want you to die, Christina. What color should the flowers be? I mean, really, there's not, that top flower's not getting done, because it's off the board. Like, this whole stem's not happening. In fact, we're going to mark that one off, so we don't go up there. Make the gnome tie-dye? The flowers are purple? And then make the gnome these colors? I mean, I can make her dress kind of tie-dye-ish, I guess. Same with the hat. 
purple flowers. Oh, the background tie-dye. I would have to do that first. I'd have to paint the board first. And then I did have to do it a really light wash. A really light wash of color, which could be done. Or the gnome would have to be done in white or black, most likely, for it to pop out. Could be done. Now you got me wondering about doing tie-dye tie -dye backgrounds. Thanks a lot, Tori. Now my head's just like, uh, I'm not sure which one to do it. Holy crap, Christina! They've got you on so many medications, your body doesn't even know what to do. touching that one yet. Since that one's already on the board and lined up, I don't want to I don't want to take it off yet. All right, so these are the simple shapes. These are the rectangles. They come two to a package. And they're two-sided. Uh, technically it's one time use per side but you can do a little work sorry trash can do a little work and remove things that are on a one time use board and then go back over it with a different color like paint it which I need to do that um, and then reuse the board you can work around it Well, yay for that one, Christina. Woo! So we got we got some positive news. All right, we're gonna put Nomi over here, or I guess Nomi yet. Hopefully that doesn't fall. That's what I wanted though. Okay, get over there. I need this because if we're gonna paint one of these. What colors am I using to tie dye it? Am I just using two? Am I using four? Am I using 18? Help. Help. You'll have to tell me on that one because I don't know at this moment. And obviously we got some, I need to stir up my, my poor, into my, into my, I have one more jar, but it's like liquid gold to me. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's all usable. Worked really hard to bring that back. Oh, that reminds me. Hot mess the board. All right, that's what I thought you wanted me to do. I probably have to stir all these because when I did paste, paste maintenance, before I closed the lid, I sprayed some water on top of it. And so they probably all have water sitting on top of them. All the colors, yep. So I have to stir all these.
Y'all are making more work for me. I hadn't planned on doing this. And I have more than just one multi-tool, but um, there's no point in getting all of them dirty, so I'm just wiping them off. Oh, that's a little chunky. Doing paste maintenance this weekend was a very good thing. I had some that were sad shape. This one's a little chunky, but it's very usable. It's just chunky. These are still the old formula of paste because I have a ton of paste colors that I need to use and use up. And then I have a whole stack of probably 30 pastes sitting on my desk. Actually, there's probably 40 new formula that I have not opened yet. Like brand new colors. I want all the colors. I haven't been using it, using them as much. Oh shoot. Also got my test results from wearing a heartless, a wireless, a heartless monitor. You, you don't have a heart. Uh, wireless heart monitor for, no AFib. That's good news. That's very good news. See, this one even smells different. This, this one actually is the new formula, but this is the paste that we got at ChalkCon this summer. Definitely smells different. Yes, I'm sniffing my paste. It's a lovely thing. I'm thinking about not using that color. I'm using that color instead. Or I have Tide or Teal or something. We're going to use this one because this is Blue Jay and needs to be used up. And there's a lot of Blue Jay, although Liberty needs to be used up too. We're going with Liberty. Liberty is one of the pastes that I've brought back from the dead a couple of times. In fact, it's even one of the ones that I had to microwave to get it warm because uh, I had microwaved too much and I dented, um, the plastic started melting. So if I use this one up, it wouldn't be a bad idea. And this one's a little lumpy too. I just really need to like spend some time squishing out the lumps. I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right. Ooh, got some crumbs on here. Yeah, some people complain about the ones that smell like rotten eggs. I haven't actually found one yet that smells like rotten eggs. I don't know why I just did that. I'm going to do this very lightly, and I'm probably going to do this one as well because I had a second part that I was going to do with this. All right, I need some stir sticks. One for each color, one for each color. Uh, we can use that, I guess, or this. What? You're buying me a laser cutter? That's awesome. Thanks, Tori. 
Why are you getting a laser cutter? I don't need that much. No, nah, it didn't, no. It's just when you open the drawer. And these are my wonky, notice that they're not flat. These are my wonky trays. I put them in their microwave, try to get them to flatten out. And then I put them in hot water and they got warm and stuff. And then I put a jar on top of them and they got almost perfectly flat or back to normal. And then I brought them back in here and they walked out again. I'm just gonna have to throw them away. That is what I think I'm gonna have to do. Just throw them away. So I just sprayed a little water on there. I'm trying to decide if I want to use this or that. We're gonna use this. Hello, Miss Bonnie. care if it's too watery. Well that was not, well that's fine. It's so pretty. I can just leave it like that. needs more pink or raspberry sorbet. Should have done that before I did the green. Wow. Well, I know those glow forges, glow forges are very expensive. They're very expensive. All right. I'm just winging this, by the way. These are, these are not paper towels. These are like wet wipes that I've got out for my fingers, but they're dry because I don't sit on my desk. And I'm just gonna use them to spread the color around some, I think. And that may not work too well. It soaked it up more than I wanted it to. Should have dried it first. That one has more color. turned ugly real quick. The colors mixed too much. Okay, part two of that. We will continue. We will work with it until it gets to where I want it. <laughs> Throwing grape soda color everywhere. Well, hopefully
I mean, it's kind of springy, but I want it to be more than what it is right now. This is why I used stir sticks and left the jars of paste open. Grab a little green. Meadow. Not so much of that. It's very quiet out because everybody's at home trying to avoid the freaking ice storm that's on its way. So there's no cars. I don't, that's where I was going with that. I don't really hear any cars outside. Craziness, right? Just having fun, crazy. I do have shimmer black. I am going to dry this a little before I put water on it though. Uh, no. We do not want to keep any ice or snow. Well, we're not getting any snow. We do not want to keep any ice that we get. Thank you. Texas is not built for that. Texas is not built for below freezing. Unless you live in the panhandle. That's only because they get it every freaking year. The rest of us, no, we don't like it. They actually don't like it either, but they get it every year. I want this to dry a little bit so when I do the next step, it doesn't take all the color off like I did a minute ago. Yeah, well, you live, you live up north. I don't for a reason. Too cold. Too much crap on the ground. Frozen crap. This time we are gonna get our paper towel though. More of a controlled, maybe. See, that's better. It's not taking it all off. It's leaving some of it behind, which is more what I wanted when I tried to do it the first time. It needs a little. Just can't be so heavy handed on it. I want the idea of color. Not actually like, you know, jumping out and like beating you on the head. Okay. It looks different in person. I can take off more by just spraying water and keep doing this and I can add more back to it. I think that's where we're going to stay at. All right. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Send it up to Tori. Uh, New Hampshire. Send it all up to New Hampshire. So now I need to... I gotta dry this. Before I put that transfer on here, I need to dry that. So I don't have any oopsies when I get to that point. So we gotta make sure this is really dry. Oh, no. Ew. No, thank you. But see what we... Snow is one thing. We get ice. Ice is not fun, and we don't have any snow coming on top of it, so you can actually like walk on it until it refreezes. It's just gonna be ice. Ice is not good. And I'm gonna make sure this is really dry because when we put more paste on top of the previous paste, it will. If we let it sit too long. All the paste will pull up. Nothing will stay on the board. I play hockey. That's a controlled environment. Can't play... Can't. You'll ruin your skates if you play outside. We don't have places made to play ice hockey outside. But there will be plenty of posts from people that are local to me in the morning, them out at the tennis courts or wherever, and basketball courts, skating. Sorry, I'm not running my blades for that. close up these pastes, but I'm about to use the same colors. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to use black. I think I'm just going to put the same colors on top. That's kind of where I'm going with it. But now we got to do this whole thing of putting it on correctly. All right. Do I want the flower there or there? I think I want it this way. Tough decisions, you know. I have never played lake or pond hockey in my life. It's too freaking cold out. I skate in a controlled environment. No thanks. That does not get the very top of that flower. Just missed it. Make sure we're kind of even. Flip that around. Actually. I need to come down just a little bit. That needs to go away. Oh, geez, Christina. Um, kind of bad news first. I'm really afraid of what the bad news could be, honestly. Oh, you poor health issues. Oh, that is crooked. Y'all know I need these things to be even. I 
Okay. That will work. We're all on the board here. I gotta get rid of this though, because it's annoying me. So if you've joined in and you're watching, my name is Vicki. I'm an independent designer with Shaw Couture. And we are using our Spring Gnome transfer right now. We're trying to make not too much of a mess. Let's see. Um, another surgery in 10 months or less. Okay, that's not the worst news. That's not the worst news. I'll take that. What is the good news? See, I really don't want to do the whole thing in black. All right, so the flower we're going to do in purple, and those we're going to be in the green. We're going to do this um, paste and peel. And that I don't need. No pacing on my defibrillator and recheck in seven weeks. That's good. You've got some improvements. This could be a lot worse report. So th those are some good, I mean, surgery in the next, within the next 10 months. It's not the best news. Uh, it's not the worst news either. What kind of surgery do they want to do on you? I know you've had many different kinds. No, that can go over there. Hi, Miss Teresa. Okay, that's cool. I wonder if that could stand up oh, right there. Perfect. <laughs> I gotta dry this before we put the next color on. So we're doing paste and peel. Thing about the um, grape, grape soda is it starts, you may be able to see it on the screen, as it dries it changes colors. Most of the pastes do that, but grape soda I've always noticed does that more than some of the others. It's retired color. I absolutely love it. I wish they'd bring it back. get our next little color and another squeegee. I'm going to do that one. Oh, well, hell, yes, you need that surgery. Okay, that's not like something goofy. Like, that's definitely uh, a required surgery. <laughs> Please go get that surgery. I gotta make sure the screen is back on the transfer where I lift, lifted it up. And I want this blocked off too. Give me close enough to it. 
screen. Do the easy part first. And worry about the more detailed area or closer to the other color area next. I might have just got green on the flower, but you know what? Flowers change colors, so it could have had some green before it turned to purple, right? Yep, agree with me. Go for it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, we're making a mess. All right, I think I'm done with the green for now. Where's the lid? There it is. We're going to pull that back. That sit there while we dry that. Well, having the surgery set up three months before it dies is probably a good thing. Hopefully they don't have to reschedule it. I guess that's probably why they did it three, three months out in case they do have to reschedule. You still have a, another month or so. Still, I'd be worried about that. I'd be like, uh, can you change it now? Push that back down where it was raised up. I need to pull that little barrier off. Now I need to reverse the little barrier. I'll actually put a different one on there. Now we're going to do pink and blue. And I don't know where my other wipes are. Yes, I did make this shirt. This was one of the Club Couture transfers. I want to say it was December. Kelly, are you on? What month was this? It's not January's. It's not February's. I think it might be. It's either it's either November or December's. I can't remember. October. Kelly's got it. See, I knew she'd. Because I just she just has worked on the list of them. And in fact, this transfer that I'm wearing, the October one, might be one of the ones that you get if you sign up for Club Couture in. February, because when you sign up for Club Couture in February, you will get five retired transfers from 2021 and or 2019. There'll be a mixture. It's five random ones. So you could get possibly this transfer. And then after you're registered as a Club Couture uh, member, that's our monthly subscription box. After you're registered as a Club Couture member, 
Then go into your club account and order $60 worth of product, which there's a kit that I can tell you which one to get that has a, a big surface, a small surface, a jar of white paste, some extra tools. It's a perfect thing to get. And then you can add one other thing. You're at your $60 right there. And they send you another five retired club transfers. Those would actually be from 2020. So you'd get 10 different transfers uh, plus the February transfer. And then your subscription for a club member, you have to be a club member for a minimum of three months. So it'd be February, March, and April that would be required. And then you can decide if you want to quit or continue at that point. The club transfer or the club club couture is $19.99 a month. It includes a B-size transfer, which is 9 by 12. Roughly, it's the size of a notebook paper and three paste singles each month sent to you. And I also do extra specials and things for my club members. So <coughs> join as a club member. There's all sorts of perks. And Chalk Couture always has some sort of special going on for them as well. Uh, I think, Try to decide how I'm doing the half here. I need that. All right. It's going to take me a second. I got to concentrate. To do my little nomi nomi et. Man, I am just making a mess. That needs more water in it. It really does. That's not good. It's gonna pop up for now. We still gotta do the hat. What the heck was that? I know what happened. I need I need something. A jar of paste. That needs to sit there. Um You've been slacking. Yes you have. So you might see there's two dots right there. Pretty sure that got the paste that's underneath it wet and it pulled it up. So we're going to fake that real quick. Make it be not quite so noticeable. It's a little thicker there, but it's not so noticeable. Also use your detail tool for that, but I'm being lazy because this already has paste on it. You've had a rough couple of years, Christina. 
Like you'll be well for a couple of months and then all of a sudden like one thing after another just keeps knocking you down. It's no fault of your own. Your body just keeps fighting with you. Kelly's Kelly's had some of the same, not same issues, same thing where she'll be good for a while and then her body just like fights with her. Yeah. Yeah, and once your immune system's messed up, it... Uh, well, I don't know why. I mean, the heater's on, too. It may be because I got it twisted around towards you. I don't normally. Alright, I need to I need to add water into this one real quick. Otherwise, it's going to bother me. I had the lid open too long and it started to dry. Because remember, this is one of the ones that are brought back from the dead, so it dries quicker. Where did I put that? Oh, the purple one's right there. Well, it doesn't dry quicker, but it's more apt to dry out quicker because I keep bringing... It's like a zombie. I keep bringing it back to life. It's the living dead. Close that up for now. Yeah, see, Kelly's Kelly's had all, all sorts of issues too. Oh, that's what I was gonna do with that. And I just dropped a quick dry tool. All right, one more section. Sorry. And I'm going to make sure this is pressed down. And pink. There's pink. I think we're just going to use this to do this. Not the actual squeegee. It's not as quick, unfortunately. But it's more controlled of where I'm going. Almost done. Oh, I gotta catch up with your chunk. That's a good way of putting it, Kelly. Your body's in a boxing match with itself. That makes complete sense. I know you had all that going on too. the 
dog whining in the other room because she's in the kennel and she hasn't had any tension. Not the fuzzy one. She's, she's laying out there. transfer somewhere. Put it in my tray. Close enough. My dog's in the kennel because her, the fuzzy one will attack her, or it's been more than a year, but I've kept them separate because I don't want to have any more outbreaks of dog bites, and I'm the one that gets bitten as well, and no thank you. So I keep them, I keep those two separate. So there's that one. Oh my god, it actually is very cute. Look how cute that is. I'm not done, because remember. I have this piece to do too. So there's a secondary project. I need to dry the hat band though before I stick my finger in it. Yeah, so I keep those two dogs separate just so I don't have any issues. And I don't have to worry about it. out of the way and then I don't need I don't need these two they need to go away I'm gonna use my ruler because I got to cut a transfer apart we do have these I was gonna use this we do have these new uh, they're called simple frames that go with our simple shapes so this one and this one go on like this And then there's the round simple shape and the square simple shape. I was going to put that on here, but since we did that crazy background, I'm not going to because I think it's just going to look horrible. But we are going to use Life in Full Bloom. This is six transfers. You cut them apart. They fit perfectly in the 5x5 five five box frames or simple shapes. So we're going to cut these apart and then I'll tell you which one I think I'm going to use. But y'all, y'all can decide, y'all can vote on which one y'all want, but I'm going to tell you which one I'm going to use. It's kind of already in my head. Let me get this out of the way. And I got all these paste jars that are still in the way. They're, they're not closed up in my squeegees. Okay, so we have Hey Bud with a little flower. Sorry, I got paste on my fingers too. Um, Welcome Spring. Let's get buzzing. Live Life in Full Bloom. Hello and Grow. So y'all tell me which one y'all would choose to go with our cute little Nomi Gnome. Gnome yet. And then I'll tell you which one I have picked out to use, and we'll see if it's the same one. I'll put that up there for now. So it's Hey Bud, Welcome Spring, Let's Get Buzzin', 
live life in full bloom, hello or grow. didn't cut that one enough. Uh, hey Buzz, Buzz. Hey Bud, welcome spring. Let's get buzzing. Live life in full bloom. Hello and grow. And then when I'm done cutting, I will pull off the one that I have planned, but we'll see what y'all say. Because I'm going to attach it to the other, uh, to the gnome. So it's going to go with the gnome, which is why I did the backgrounds the same. <clears throat> make sure I'm not on the edge of the desk where it bends. That's not good. They lifted in the middle of this one. Well, not as bad as I thought. Alright. Don't need that. <coughs> Alright, so let's see what we got. <coughs> Buzz. Hey bud, and full bloom. Christina, I think having kids, you're like you actually having kids, would mess your body up even more. Like, I've never been pregnant. I don't want kids. I mean, yeah, at, point, at some point I had names picked out, but never happened. Don't want them. Uh, but being pregnant takes a lot out of extremely healthy people. So I think that would just send your body on a roller coaster and you'd probably end up on bed rest for most of the pregnancy. That's no fun. You've been on bed rest before. It is not fun. I mean, Tori's had kids. Am I right, Tori? It does a number on your body. Um, okay, so the one that I'm going to choose to go with the gnome is the hay bud. I just thought it goes with the gnome. So that's the one we're choosing. I gotta decide which way I want this with the words. I think I want the color up there. crap pregnancy puts you in heart failure okay Christina do not get pregnant no <laughs> sorry do not get pregnant So I'm just going to mimic the colors that were on the other piece of this. Actually, I don't even need, I just need a, I need a small squeegee for this thing. I need this thing.
I did not buzz this transfer before putting it on here. Well, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Okay. Yeah, 50%. Ew. Oh, I'm going to have to do touch it on this because it didn't go through. No, thank you. No, I already said I'm not having kids. That means pregnancy. No. Besides, it doesn't work with my hockey schedule. You have to take off like nine months. Because you have to recover after you have the kid. No, not happening. Sorry, love you, not that much. Not doing kids. I had, I had an extra squeegee that I'd cleaned. It's right there. Cause the, cause the other one's over here and it's dirty. Oh my gosh. Oh. An air fryer? You can do mugs in an air fryer? I do not need a whole year off. Did I say mugs or eggs? I don't know. You, whatever it is, you can do them in the air fryer? I didn't know that. I'm just going to use this. It's already got the blue on it. We obviously have to do touch up on the flowers. Y'all may not be able to hear her whining, but I can hear her whining. The dog, that is. I've never heard of anybody doing mugs in an air fryer. I'm like baffled with that. Okay, so the bud, see how the letters started to come up? No, that's actually the part of the transfer. Okay, never mind. I thought it's because I let it sit on there too long. That's actually part of the transfer. All right. We are done with that color. We are done with that color. When I use my vinyl cutting machine, it's usually so I can reverse 
reverse weed it and use it to make a custom shirt with my ink, not the vinyl itself. I hate having to deal with washing instructions and people that like don't pay attention and the letters come off. No, I'm going to ink it and then it's permanent. I don't have to worry about it. Oh, we figured it out, Tori. We got gotcha. you. Not happy that that didn't turn out that well, though. Well, that leaf is kind of hard to see because it's right on top of that other green. I'm mostly not happy that the flower didn't turn out. We're going to make that, we're going to give that a stem. Then that leaf doesn't get lost as much. Addition. And we just got green all over ourselves. It's easy. Make your design. The part you want the ink to go through, pull off. Weed. So if you have something that says believe, and normally you would pull everything off but the word believe, because you're going to put the word believe on the shirt. No. Reverse it. Pull the word, or weed, the word believe out. Flip it, or whatever. And then use the transfer tape and all that and put it on your shirt. You've got a, you now you've got a stencil. Pull the transfer tape. It's on your shirt. Removable. Uh, you don't heat set it. It's just a, now you've got a sticker on your shirt. And you take your ink, your chalk couture ink, and you apply it. Now, there's no screen, so you have to be careful about making sure all the edges are down carefully so you don't bleed under. And then you pull up the vinyl, because you can only use it once, and it's done. But you can't reuse it if you're doing, your, if you're doing a shirt with vinyl anyway. It's a one-time thing. You cut the thing, you stick it on a shirt. You can't use it again, right? If you made a shirt with the vinyl letters, believe, that's it, one time. So you just do the same thing, except for you make it into a stencil, and you can use it that way. And then you've got whatever you wanted to do. I'm going to actually color in this flower, because it's going to be easier than having little outlines, edges. I probably should use the actual brush for this. But this will show up better. So yeah. I mean, I've done those. I don't usually do them because I don't like weeding. I'd rather wash or transfer and use the transfer many times, then weed and have to keep doing the same thing over and over. Oh, thank you. So I'm just getting some paste on my detail tool and putting it where this flower is. Then I'm filling in the flower because those little thin lines aren't going to show up this background. And that's not going to be perfectly edge even, but oh well, it's a flower. Flowers are not perfect. People are not perfect. No, 
if, no, it's just, you're fine. But yeah, the vinyl's a one-time use anyway, so I'd rather just, I'd rather use it as a stencil, and then the ink is on there permanently, and I don't have to worry about somebody not taking care of the shirt properly and the letters falling off. That's the problem with vinyl. You sell a shirt and then the letters fall out and they're mad at you. Oh my, yeah, you do need to go upstairs. Well, we're not quite done yet. To dry that flower so I don't stick my finger in it. power punch to put holes in it. Okay, so I was thinking it should go like this. Now they're not exactly the same shape, so I gotta measure it correctly. But it could also go like this. So what do you think is better, the gnome on the top or the gnome on the bottom? I know I'm crooked. And there will be a small gap. That way I don't have to be perfectly lined up. Gnome on the top or gnome on the bottom? Because that will depend on where I put the holes. And man, I got stuff to clean up over here. This is when you take all your squeegees and your trays and you just put them in your tray that you have to take to the other room and wash. Anyway, don't put the paper towel on there because it will stick to the transfers. That's not good. Alright, let's see. What do we got saying here? All right, Kelly says bottom. All right, who else is there? I need more than one vote. Does the gnome go on the bottom? Or should the gnome go on the top? Bottom. Hi, Kaylin. I was thinking the gnome should go on the bottom. So, yay, if y'all agree with me. do it like I did my other ones probably. Yeah. I don't need to go that far. Well, it helps if I read the ruler correctly.
put where that does not need to be. There. Don't mind me with my extra pencil marks. Well, this is the first time I'm using this. <laughs> yeah, those those cats are gonna like take care of that. I've used my crocodile before, but this is the first time using this, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this one. Okay, we're gonna use, I have better clearance with crocodile. I can see what I'm doing better. It's just huge. But there's a lot more room to see what you're doing. Not so much with the little power uh, punch. Okay, yay. Okay. Little holes on that one. And then, we're gonna go in. More than an inch. There. Doesn't have to be perfect. Move that over a little. If the cat has claimed your lap, then you have to stay there. That's the golden rule of being a pet, a cat parent. I lost my pencil. There it is. These are three by uh, six by six squares. thing we can put our, our power punch away because we're not using it tonight thought I was we're not put it back in his box so I got a picture of a cat in a lap it's very that cat looks very comfy yeah you're not going anywhere all right let's see what ribbons I have that we can use for this these are the same surfaces that I used to make the snowman with the Let's uh, You Make Me Melt transfer. I really like these simple shapes for making like hanging things. 
Because they're so thin. Uh, I may just have to use jute because I don't have any ribbon that I like. That's red, white, and blue. Oh, that reminds me. Those are in there. That's too thick. These flowers don't go with it. See, these are the wrong colors. Uh, there. These are like red, blue flowers. Totally don't go with it. Some of these are from the banners that Chocotour gives us. <coughs> these are from the gift tags. I'm just going to keep those. And we're going to use this. Yeah, that cat looked very snuggly. Uh, I really don't need that much twine or jute. I don't. Oh, yeah, that's not good. I am not measuring. I do not want to measure. I don't need to measure. Because we're just going to tie this and then make the other side even. That's how we do it. I don't do anything fancy. look fairly even. And most of the time on the hook, which is what I'm doing now, I don't tighten it out all the way in case someone wants to make it shorter or longer. It's there.
probably tied those again before doing that. Oh well. Alright, you ready for the final project? Our cute little oh, that doesn't go there. Did I put the jute back? No. See? I won't know where it is the next time I go looking for it. <coughs> I got all these little jute strings everywhere. Yuck. Alright, here is our cute little gnome project that we did tonight. There we go. Hey, bud. And of course it will twist. Now you can always do the other side too. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Probably won't because that's just cute. There we go. Yay, yay, yay. Very cute little gnomey gnome. Gnome yet. And I will go make a cart link of things that we used tonight. Uh, I probably won't put the paste colors in there. Uh, I might pick out one similar, but it, you can click on the cart link, <coughs> excuse me, and change out the colors. If you hit the cart, cart link more than once, you're gonna put a second set in there or a third set. So just pay attention to how many you put in there. Um, so I will, Go make a cart link. I'll post it in the comments of this chat and then probably also in the description. That way, if you want to order the transfers, it's all ready and it's on my site. It takes you right to my site and you're all good. Yep, so there's our little. I can hang that up there now. Isn't that cute? Okay, flip around. Very cute. I like it. All right. Uh, I took up enough of your time tonight. That was a pretty long live. It's got to be over an hour. It has to be. So I am going to log off, and I will catch y'all later. That is quite cute. Quite. That is quite cute. All right. I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, message me, and be watching out for that cart link. Bye.